What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play multiplayer PS4 games on your PS4 with only one controller. So I know this is a problem that a lot of you guys have run into before. I know I have, uh, you know, say it's Saturday night, 9 p.m. Your friend calls you up and says he wants to come over. And so you say, sure, come on over. And you know, you're just chilling playing some PS4. And then he comes over and he wants to play some, you know, NBA 2K, some FIFA or something. And you're like, oh crap. I only have one controller or maybe you have two controllers and your second controller is broken or maybe you have two controllers but you have two friends coming over so now you need three controllers you know there's all kinds of scenarios could happen and you know it's always a problem because you never have enough controllers and it's saturday night 9 p.m where the heck are you going to go and buy another controller at so let's go ahead and turn on our ps4 and our controller and basically i'm going to show you how to play multiplayer games on the ps4 with only one controller so for this scenario let's assume that we have one controller and we want a second person to play so first of all, obviously as I'm doing here, turning on your PS4. And so now you obviously want to connect your controller to the PS4 like I have. You can see I'm connected and you also want to be connected to the internet like I am right now. And the next step is you want to go over to your phone. Um, I'm sure you have a phone, everybody's got a phone nowadays. But basically if you're on Android, open up the Google Play app or if you're on iOS, open up the, um, you know, the app store. And you want to search PS4 and probably the first app that's going to come up is PS4 Remote Play. And that's what you want to click on. And basically you want to go ahead and install it. It's not too big, won't take too long to install. And I already have it installed, so I'm just going to press open. And so once you open it, it comes straight to this screen called PS4 Remote Play. And basically what you want to do is make sure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your PS4, or else it's not going to work. And so as you can see, it says use this device to enjoy your PS4 even while you're away from it. So let's go ahead and press start. And so if you're connected to the same network, it should find your PS4. Um, if you're having issues, you can do it manually. But there you go. It basically super easily pairs. Um, as you can see, you got the same screen on my phone as the PS4. And it acts as another controller. So actually, once you connect your phone to the PS4, it'll automatically make you player one. And you'll have to assign any controller again. But as you can see now, we have two controllers connected. So this is essentially a controller. And this is another controller. And as you can see, I can use my... Um, actual remote to control the PS4 and then I can also go down here and use my phone obviously I gotta go to my home screen first and I can you know search around and so let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you that I can actually play a two-player game so one thing I didn't show you is you can actually use your uh, controller in two different ways you can either do it portrait mode which might be a little bit harder but you can see the buttons better and then you can also do landscape mode where you basically turn to the side and you still got your, all your controls and stuff there so let's go ahead and show that we can play a game. Let's click play now. Just select some random teams. And as you can see, I got my second player right here. And I got my first player right there. So I got two players playing and I only have one controller. So we basically just tricked the PS4. So I know probably the one obvious issue with this is that, you know, now you have to play with your controls on a screen, which is not exactly desirable, um, but it, it'll get you along in a pinch. and. And you know, if you're really a beast at 2K or FIFA or something, you can play on any controller. You know, just just imagine your friend coming over and you hand him the real controller and you start playing on your phone and you beat him. That just makes you in the ultimate beast at FIFA, 2K, COD, whatever you're playing. So there you have it, guys. That's basically how you play multiplayer games on your PS4 when you don't have enough controllers. And obviously, there's a bunch of different scenarios where you could use this. Um, let's say you have one controller and you have two people that need to play. You can use your phone as one controller and you can use this PS4 controller as another controller. And then let's say you have four people, but you only have three controllers. You can use three controllers and then use your, you know, use your phone as the fourth controller. And something I haven't tried yet is connecting multiple phones to your PS4 to essentially create multiple phone controllers. Now, I might try that in another video. I haven't tried that, so I don't know if it'll work or not, but I think it might be worth a shot to try that. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video and subscribe, and hope you guys have a great day.